Hey guys, it's been a while, but I got a new mic, and there is a new game here. You may have seen it, you may have played it, but uh, me and my friends, we've been grinding the heck out of this game. It's called Blade Quest, uh, and it has currently about uh, 5,500 people playing it. And it was created uh, earlier this month on the 8th, so it's like an RPG by Make It Rainbows. So it's a pretty cool game. Let's get right into this Spider King here. So, being on mobile, we don't have the opportunity to do the shift lock, but in here we do. So you just press that to make it green, and then you can do the shift lock, which is awesome. So, this is currently the strongest boss that you can fight. And you get to dodge these little things, do the spell here. So he keeps spawning these spiders, so if you get to this point, you could literally sit here and kill these spiders and gain experience if you'd like to. So you get a dodge, he casts out his ice spell in front, and that will hurt you, so you want to avoid all that. And he'll randomly throw spiders left and right at you. So once you kill him, if you get those spiders remaining, make sure you kill those spiders. There is plenty of hiding spots in the game where you can get away and not take damage if you're having trouble, that is. So we get some rewards here. All right, didn't get anything really too good. Now, check this map out. It's pretty sweet. They're loaded. There we go. All right. It, it's new game, so it's going to have a little bit of bugs. Periodically, I notice there are some visual effects that go on. And it's not just me that sees that. There's other people, too. So you have your upgrade area here. And I don't know who's all in here because uh, I was just doing a solo run because you get more experience that way. But you can help your friends out and stuff like that. So shout out to everybody in the server. I don't know if I'm randomly joined my friends or not because I know there is a bunch of them that are playing currently. And, and sometimes it you jump in the servers with them once they're done with where they're going. And you do have daily quests. And it resets here. And pretty soon. Wow. Cool. All right. thought they had a 24-hour time run. Maybe it did. I forgot to work today. <laughs> so you got your shop here. You got your upgrade there. Um, in your shop here, you can buy... Your rare, you can adjust it to level 36 is currently the best I can get. Or you can buy your magic here as well. And also, um, if you like into the game passes and stuff like that, you can get the here too as well. Oh, wow, you can gift stuff now. That's pretty cool. I don't think that was there before. And the rainbow blade is uh, just a visual. I don't think it actually does anything. But it's pretty sweet. You got spells. Uh, you go out here. You don't have to go into the inventory, guys, which is somewhere. Hmm, where is it at? There it is. You don't have to go into there. You can just access it there on the bottom right. First one below play. Hit that. And then you have all your blades. And you have your support spells and your damage spells. And you equip whichever you want. You can actually upgrade them as well. And you can gift them, but there's really no sense of somebody level 12 having a weapon like mine that may not continue playing. It takes a while to grind up to get to this stuff. Um, there's dummies in here too where you can test out your damage as well if you wanted to smack them around a little bit. Elevator, hidden elevator. So I don't know what's coming up here. Uh, there's another one on the other side over there. So the map is pretty sweet. Looks great. Great job here. Um, where do I have the upgrades? Let's go to the upgrades real quick and see what we got for an upgrade. So in here, we, you can, when you have VIP, it doesn't cost you anything to reset your skill points, which is cool. I haven't had to do that yet. I'm happy with what I have. I put a lot of into my health, a little bit into weapon, and a lot into magic. And here is your mergers. Now, since I'm level 36 going on 37, I really don't want a low tier weapon into the merger see that's going to be level 37 legendary that's what i want okay once i start putting these one other ones in at a lower level it drops to 36 
34 and 33. So I will more than likely give those ones away. Uh, and then, let's see, that's 36, that's 33, 30, 29, 27. Uh, these are all, oh, there we go. Wait a minute, let's go to this one here. We'll do these as 36s. Got a 33 in there, but it's still, that would have been 37. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and merge it and see what we get. I'd like to have a 37. And there we go. Merge it again. And in here, we have a 37, 36, and a 33, 29, and 27, which would give me a 33. I do not want that, so we're going to have to hold on to these and get more. So when you're when you're playing lower level stages and helping your friends out, which you can you can go all the way to the play up ahead and carry them with what people do. What the heck? <laughs> That's funny. So <laughs> here's your play, or like I said, you can just hit it right here, and you can either create your stages. Look at this new one coming, guys. 24 hours can't wait so that's why i've been trying to get another level up to see what it is um let's see here we go they're level seven forest and hardcore so you you have different levels you have to be in order to play easy 25 plus 28 plus 31 plus and to play the hardest i always do hardcore so we're going to go in here real quick just to create and start just to show you how I've been doing it. So it takes a minute to load, and then you hit this to get green. Now, again, like I said, there are lots of hiding spots that you can get out of the way of doing, not getting damage done to you, you know? Like you could probably stand up here, but don't fall, guys. If you fall, you're dead. I think you might be able to hit them too. Yes, you can. All right. So if you're weak, there you go. In the other stages, like I said, there are spots that you can hide at. So just uh, figure it out. Explore a little bit. If something is doing some damage to you, run away, hit them. I mean, there's people that have so many different methods of playing this game. I mean, you build your character that you, the way that you like and put the spells on that you like. I like the lightning. Um, I've seen people use the speed. Instead of, like, on the left, the bottom left, that's my team heal. I should have went here with my regular heal. It, it does way more. I keep forgetting, though. But I, I'm, most times I can uh, beat the stage without no problem and come to the end of the boss. And he does. Sometimes he, he killed me, like, one time, which was sad because he had 17 hit points left. But other than that, uh, I can usually kill him without taking too much damage. If I take any damage at all. It's all about uh, strategy and how you're moving around. These guys do hurt you quite a bit, so they're fast. If you're not paying attention, they will get you. And you can also do something, and I will show you just for just to show you. Because you won't get experience for this unless they change it. But it will make your trip quickly if you're only grinding for weapons. Me, I'm grinding for both experience and weapons. So there are timers on your spells. If you jump around, sometimes they don't get you as much. But yeah, there's a lot of places you can just get out of the way and not worrying about them hitting you. But if you get into yourself in some trouble, maybe you're trying to play the game and you're trying to hurry up and go somewhere real quick in real life and we're running out of time. He, he came up here and got me. That's unusual. But they drop and fall to the ground and you don't get experience. I've never seen him climb up there before. So I'm sure they'll fix that sooner or later, maybe. I don't know. You can even hide behind this wall here. And they won't come past it. That's the thing. There's a lot of areas like stairs and obstacles and uh, doors to the next areas. If they come in here, I can jump out over here and they won't come in here. They'll just sit over there and stare at me like, hey, I'm going to get you. No, you're not. Um, <laughs> or you can like, you know, jump off the side and 
don't do this because, well, you die. So there you go. Game over. One life. All right, guys. I think I covered pretty much everything that I can at this time. Testing out the new mic. Hopefully there's no static anymore. It looks pretty sweet. I mean, I'm happy with it. And this game is awesome. And best part about going into play with your friends, you do join in the same lobby, which is really cool. See you guys. Bye.